In a recent interview, Sheryl Sandberg, the chief operating officer of Facebook, had something pretty negative to say about personal branding. She said, If you think you are building your personal brand, please don't. You don't have a brand. She then held up a bottle of Perrier sparkling water and went on to talk about how brands are packaged, although some people would argue that she was really talking about how products are packaged. She then said, People are not that simple and we're not packaged. And when we are packaged, we are ineffective and inauthentic. I don't think I have a brand, but I do think I have a voice. Finally, she said, if you think you are building a personal brand, you will not have the career you want to have because you will not be authentic. Don't package yourself, just speak and speak honestly. Oh boy. There will be some people out there now who will attribute her seemingly extreme position to attention-seeking for her newly launched book, which happens to be co-authored by the guy who was interviewing her at the time. There will be some who think that she can talk about having a voice because she's a billionaire who already has a strong personal brand by being the COO of Facebook and the founder of LeanIn.org. And there will be some who will say that Facebook, her employer, benefits immensely from all of its users who are trying to build their personal brands on a daily basis. But before the huge personal branding community starts to rail too harshly on Sheryl Sandberg, let's think a bit about what she's saying and interpret it in terms that everyone can understand. First, I agree with Sheryl on the idea of packaging, but more so in terms of over-packaging. If You try to package yourself like a bottle of Perrier where each instance is the same without variability. You will not allow the flexibility of your own reality to be evident in what you portray to the world. Each of us, each of you, you are variable in what you think, variable in what you say, and variable in what you do. To pretend that you don't have any of this variation, like you're a product on a conveyor belt, is to pretend to be something that you're not. That is not authentic. But if your packaging of yourself is more flexible and more true to your sense of self, then your packaging will reflect the real you and you will be authentic. So what about personal brands? I think here it's more of a matter of semantics. Whether you call it your your personal brand, your reputation, your voice, your image, or your persona, the truth is that you have one and you need to be aware of it, be attentive to it, and act in a manner that builds it in a direction that's in alignment with your values. You do that and you will be authentic. You will be respected for who you are. You will not be seen as artificially packaged. And as for having a voice, we all have one. But the truth is that some voices are heard much more loudly and strongly than others because the people behind those voices have the brand, reputation, image, persona, etc. that allow them to be heard. But it's not just about your voice being heard. It's about your voice being listened to, respected, and considered. And whether you think it's fair or unfair, the reality is that the world won't really listen to you if you don't have some type of of clout or reputation or image, or let's say it, personal brand behind that voice. So do be aware of your brand. Do be attentive to your brand. And do act in a manner that builds it in a direction that's in alignment with your values. It's your brand, your personal brand. And no one, regardless of their status or position or wealth or power, has the right to tell you that you don't have one and that you should throw away your efforts to build it.